Have you ever wondered what a fire barrier installation involves? Well, today's video is going to show you that. We have a TDD project that we are doing, and it's all going to be about fire barrier installation, okay? The installation on the fire barrier is a fireboard to protect the penetration of a worst case scenario of fire going up through. So in this case, we are downstairs doing some work, renovations internally and an extension. So we have to double fireboard to create a fire break of an hour. So each board, so you've got one single board, it is 30 minutes, double layer, hour break, okay? And that stops any penetration going up through for as long as possible. So pe any people upstairs can try and, you know, escape as soon as possible. They've got extra time, okay? So don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Thanks for all your support. This is the plasterboard lift we're using. As you can see, we're double boarding the ceiling. So the existing ceiling is gonna have two layers of fireboard, which is the pink board you can see up here. And that is to prevent, if it, in case of a fire, it prolongs the fire going up through, so it gives it an hour break. That's the reason of two. If it's one layer, it's half an hour, two is an hour, okay? But what we're doing here, this plasterboard lift, it's so much easier because it's quite high in here. You can simply plonk it on, which we'll show you in a minute, jack it up into place, leave it there, screw it up. You can do it on your own, two people, and that's it. Nice and easy. But as you can see, that's the progress so far. This is the DeWalt DCF6202 collated gun that we use. Okay, like I said, for speed, it's banging. What you do is adjust the depth there. You can quite see it. It gives you a 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and 57 millimeter in depth. And you change the depth to suit the screws that you need. And then that basically, so when you screw the screws up, you can adjust this also. See that? To make sure if the head's sticking out too much, you can sink it back. We found roughly in the middle is perfect. These are the plasterboard screws that we're using. So you've got timber stud plasterboard screws. You can get metal stud plasterboard screws as well. The difference between the two is the timber ones have got a coarser thread. The coarser thread is this bit here. And then the metal stud is slightly less thread. This is the plasterboard lift that boys are using. You should just turn this around and it jacks it up. And then you've got the lock here. So that locks it in place. Now, we get the boards up in place, tack it up with these and the boys don't have to worry about holding it. This path is so slow at screwing, the boys will be holding it for a long time. Right, that's this ceiling all done. So that's been double boarded. We've double boarded out there as well and the room at back, which I'll show you in a second. So all we have left to do for a minute is double board this ceiling. This ceiling out here, we're gonna have two layers of fireboard and then that's gonna be it. And then around the perimeter, we're gonna have a drop down. It's gonna come roughly around that. LED lights coming all the way around. This is the waiting room and reception. This is treatment, uh, treatment room one, and then we got in here. I've got to block up this little way here. This is the fireboard we've done in here. So we box around the steel as well with fireboard. 
that's all ready to go and then out there as well so that's pretty much it now so with the plasterboard install all you're going to need is an impact driver with a ph1 bit which we'll show you all in a minute okay but we use a collated gun screwdriver because of speed so we use the collated gun uh, collated screw sorry for the gun just for speed so we can bomb for it all quicker but if you're a diy just an impact driver would be sufficient for that you can also see in here where parker has been boxing in the steel so the steel is inside here as you can see so you put timber over it and then we put in some fire plasterboard over the top of it okay so boxing that in we're going to do that on all the steels that again prevents in case of a fire keeps the structural with integrity within the building for as long as possible so we've had two layers of fireboard on this ceiling already again to prolong the duration so just in case of emergency but throughout the whole building we have an mf ceilings as well mf ceiling is metal framing okay and what we're going to do with that is bring it down about 200 mil down and then all the services so we've got air conditioning all the electrical plumbing everything that's going to go through the ceilings into the place it needs to go and that is it then so parker's in here just doing the first layer of fireboard on this ceiling as you can see he's about to go javelin dice everywhere else has been double boarded now all right all the other ceilings just this one now left to do we are using the plasterboard lift as you can see if you want to see a full video on just a plasterboard lift, check the card up here and it'll show you how to use it properly. So we're just going to get all this up. Parker's already marked where the joists are so he knows exactly where to screw and that's why he's marked the boards there. And then what we do then is we'll see where the join is there. Our next board on our next layer will overhang that as well. So it's not, you're not following the same lines. Okay, so you're just overboarding the lines as well, so it's always a, um, staggered around. You always want a staggered joint, even when you are plastering it as well. I mean, this ceiling in here we are plastering, because we're having a bulkhead going around with LED lights, but all the others aren't. We have an MF ceiling going throughout, where the service can go through. But as you can see, the existing ceiling has been scraped, taken off the sharp edges, so it's smoothed it out, ready for us to board. Don't go over it without doing that prior, okay? Because it's, it's rough, very rough. So to get this angle here, okay, we're using a tool called a bevel, which we shall show you. So all Parker has done is measured from this point here, the end of the board, to that corner, and then he's used his bevel to get that angle, and then he's measured all the other key points. <laughs> he hasn't. Over there. <laughs> oh, you? <yeah. laughs> Is it? <laughs> oh well, same thing. <laughs> he's done it over over there then. <laughs> this is a bevel. So it gives you the angle, and then he just draws down it lovely. Oh, look at that. So he's using his level now just to extend that line through. Just out there it is on the floor, mate. He uses, using a handsaw just it cuts a lot nicer because the fireboard is a lot denser than the standard board and stuff.
Lovely. That's why I use a bevel. Nice fit. All right then, mate. This is how you fit a board on your own, by the way. <laughs> you have screws in your pocket or screws in your mouth. <laughs> like a dog with a bone. So he's using 75mm uh, screws, a coarse thread. And he uses a PH1 bit, which is the end of that. There's that bit there. There's a difference in between the bits. There's PZ2 bits and there's PH1 bits. So make sure you've got the right, the right drill bit for the correct screw, as you can round off the inside. So when you're doing any sort of fire barrier installation or anything like that, you have to ensure there's no break in between. So the fireboard, as I'll show you in a second, goes all the way through. There's no breaks or stops in between to stop any penetration going up through. So as you can see here, the ceiling, we've done it all before the block work. So the ceiling goes right through into the existing box work here. Same with the steel. So the steel here, we have boarded it right through, all the way through, all the way down. So the whole, the whole steel is boxed in fully with fireboard and then you build up to it to suit, okay? So that stops any break. So no fire can get through. Guys, also before the video ends, every single Wednesday, 8 p.m., we have the TDD Show. The TDD Show is a live podcast that we do and that is live on YouTube, Facebook and LinkedIn. So don't forget to head over every single Wednesday, drop us some comments like the show, give us some information uh, in how you want to see things go forward with the podcast, okay? So we have influencers come on, business owners within the construction industry, and we talk all things mental health, construction, how they see it going, and also a few funny things inside. So don't forget to follow and join the show every single Wednesday. Cheers, guys.